All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to One Game, One Life. My name is Typo, and this is Crusader Kings 3 with the Argiad Dynasty, part 59, I believe. Maybe 58, I don't know. Uh, so, I was originally going to record a longer episode for y'all, and I still plan on doing that a little bit. Uh, but actually, I've been playing for about 10 minutes, and the game crashed, which happens very rarely. And when it crashed, it corrupted the recording. So I can't... I, I don't have that recording anymore, unfortunately. Um, it was only like 10 minutes tops. It was probably even less than 10 minutes. But let me catch you up on everything that happened. Um, Roma finished the freeholds. And we started building our windmills. Windmills take most of the labor out of grinding flour, massively increasing efficiency. That cost a thousand gold to build. We've gotten some seek indulgence... We've got like three seek indulgences for that since then. Jesus. So we got like 300 of that thousand back already, but that's the kind of expenses we've been saving up for. We've saved up plenty. Um, you guys left comments about our legacies, about how you agree that Erudition is the one to go for for now. And then we'll have to decide between Guile and Glory down the road because Law and Customs offer very little to us. Um, I'll probably go Guile, but that's only because of this one. We'll see if maybe these, this is better, but for now we're definitely going to go Erudition. I appreciate the, the comments that uh, agreed and uh, we started wars against the Duchy of Yemen and the Kingdom of Akan now the Kingdom of Akan doesn't include like these like top three counties right here but the rest of this is in the Kingdom of Akan and so that's where we're on our way down now we gathered our army after declaring war and we've started moving on down that's like we only like two months in the game has passed not much has happened so you didn't miss too much Wow, a holy order that the, the oh, a con coming in with lots of things. How did they get the 8,000? Oh, that's not all theirs. Oh, okay. All right. And then the last thing that had happened before it crashed was Des Bot Despot Kairos had taken Ulster, one of the counties that was still technically a part of uh was still technically like its own land up here in Britannia. Uh I I thought Despot Theophilus would be the one, the, the Spotate of Ireland would be able to take Ulster, but no, Scotland, Kairos kind of jumped on it first. And I was in the middle of saying, man, I really like how Kairos turned out. Look how he looks. Pretty cool. And that's when the game crashed. And now you're all caught up. Sorry about that. We really need to get more domain. Um, damn. I wish I could take this, but I can't without, like, revoke Alexandria. Like, I can't, I can't even, I need to revoke her as a vassal first. Um, retract vassal. Act of tyranny causing all subjects to lose five opinion and we gain stress because we're just. I'm sorry, I really am, but we need to grab Alexandria. And it's 100% that they'll accept at least. I'm sorry, Despot Marcos, I'm just taking this one county from you, okay? I'm sorry, Megara... I don't like to do against personality traits, but you know if it's absolutely the right decision, we do it. So, five tyranny, not the end of the world. Alright. And then we will get Alexandria ourselves. I accept your retraction of my vassal, Countess Assinet, though I think it unjust. I agree. It is unjust, but it's necessary for us to move forward, and I apologize about that. And the county of Alexandria would be 23 more tyranny. Ugh. 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 Hold up. Let's wait to take that hit when this tyranny's gone. <coughs> Sorry. Thank you, Baron Kyriakos. We're back over 32,000. Look at how much military is here waiting for us. Golly. Wow, they're coming to play. A foreign treat. It's not the first time I catch my courtier, Thea Cariste, fiddling around with some flowers she's been picking along the road. Sometimes I'd swear I even hear him sighing, overlooking Sidera Castron's holding. My liege, she says when she notices that I've been observing her, it's not a secret that my heart has found a new home. Okay, so you're trying to leave us too. I'll allow it. Bye. She was our court physician. Ooh, I didn't realize that. I should have checked that first. That's an important role. But we have some average ones now. He's got 50.25. She's got 55.5. Yeah, okay. And she's younger. Go ahead, Holed. 
And she was my high almoner and everything? Oh my... What? I shouldn't have let her go. That should have been the first one I said no to. Helen, great lady-in-waiting. Good to know. And then high almoner. Stefanos. Helen would be average at it. 50 versus 70. What makes Helen so good? She's a mastermind philosopher of 26 learning. And a herbalist. That'll do it. Wow, what a talented woman. Okay. Um. Huh. All my sons are taken. Ignatios? No? Alright, let's see if she finds a, a spouse for herself. In 34 days, we will have this capital here. Awakening, Maranthusa. It is nightfall and Theodosius is hard at work when we arrive at the cereal field south of Drama. What a name. He appears to be flattening crops at a rapid pace using a large flat piece of wood and heavy stones. He winces, then starts on a long rant about how we all need to wake up and meet our true masters instead of hiding behind the false Greco-Roman teachings to take a few steps back in surprise. How dare you defile Greco-Roman. And there's all the stress relief we needed. Got him. Stress relief attained. Alright, the ranger's huts are complete. The constructions are really getting somewhere. Farmsteads, we're moving onwards to granaries. Granaries allow farmers to store grain, vegetables, and fruit for long periods. Of course, the farmers are happy to give it all up for our soldiers should they happen to march on through. Yeah, of course they are. Yeah, they're absolutely ecstatic about it. How, how dare we say that? That's messed up. Expanded docks. No longer will merchant ship... Oh, yeah, yeah, we've seen expanded docks before. Let's see, we're finding ways to spend this money. Slowly but surely, we will spend this money. I don't know if we can spend that much money, but we'll spend a good chunk of it. Nana has given birth to another daughter, who is comely, genius, and Amazonian. <laughs> Very nice. God, these people are above and beyond, aren't they? Alright, let me see here. Um, I had it. I had it here. I have Lisa's names. <laughs> She's been living, leaving little... Uh, <laughs> While contemplating what moniker to bestow upon the children, I had a great epiphany. So philosophers. Alright, so... For a woman... I don't think any of those work for women, but she also left us one like two days ago where it's bubble boil, bubble toil and trouble to name the kids turn my brains to rubble. Perfect. Alyssa is noble and true. Give me Alyssa. That's a great name. Thank you, Lisa. May grow strong and wise, Alyssa. And Prusy is under siege. Ah, we got it. We're good. Countess Nana the Shy? Oh god, is she shy? Desperate Ricardos is ready to learn. He deserves to know her power. Absolutely. <clears throat> the return. Okay, it's good to be home. Good to be home. We were gone a while, I bet. Two more years before our next feast. Fair enough. Go hit another city here. Mayor Luther of Wells. Yeah, they gave up on that real quick. Yeah, come get us. We're ready. Come get us. Come fight us. We're absolutely prepared for you. Thank you, Mayor Serapion. My vassal despot Theodosius has brought forward... Un yeah, okay. Who would have known? What kind of undeniable evidence do you have in 1080 that you were the father? What? Your neighbor Amir Faiz has won against she... Sure. Sure. Merzene. 32 advantage going in against their ruler. Nice. Light him up. What? Oh, 
Oh, Zeus, how could you do this to Kairos? He was slain in battle? He's Craven. That's supposed to be l bar barely likely. He was blameless, my perfect son. Life had so much more in store for him. Oh, God. And now Laurentios took over as king? Oh, I'm gonna have to give the kingdom of Scotland away later. Damn it! At least he get he at least he got something to do, but now we need a new court tutor. Damn it, Kairos! I was just giving him like praise and stuff. Of course, of course. Things were going too well lately. We had to lose a son, our third eldest. Despot Kairos. Damn. All right, back to slaughtering our enemies. 60 to 8,000, slaughter at Deboya. That is a messed up skew right there. We kill an ungodly amount of people in this game. Tens of thousands slayed all the time. Deboya's been taken, we just need a battle, and then this war is over. <clears throat> There we go. Alright, this war is over. Three to six hundred. Enforce demands. Greetings, High Priest Megara of Olympus. Your wisdom and mercy are legendary. Plus two. Nice. The people we just took everything from like us at plus two. How generous. Man. No, we're not transferring Alexandria. That's mine. <clears throat> We're a tyrant minus four right now. Whoops. Show Duchess Valyrian in at once. Thank you. Confirming my satisfaction, Valyria's rights to the land she was in my stead. I accept your generous gifts, Duchess Valyria. That should be another 225. Yeah, 225 renown. Nice. That's really the main takeaway. Gur. Who has Gur right now? Despotissa Leontia? Here you go. Whoops. Apparently I swayed Andeberta. That's good. That's real good. 26%. If I send her a gift, it'll get a 61. One more sway and then the gift should be able to do the rest. Thank you, Mayor Sebastianos. Thank you, Mayor Hippolytus. A hunted Smyrna. Only 40 days of travel time. Good, we can go to that soon. Why did I keep sieging that? <laughs> what was the point of that? Yeah, go take Bono real quick. Oh good, that did count then. Alright, nice. You can take your allies' counties, and that counts towards winning? Oh man, that means you're having allies is actually like a bad thing. Mayor Demetra. At least for us, having allies would be a bad thing, because then people could just siege up our allies. Friendly exchanges. Your spouse's excellent diplomacy skill led to this windfall. Beautiful. Alright, go hit the capital and this war is over. Cleopatra died? No! She was murdered by Dukes Baudvere? I was going to say she's 68, it happens, but what? This would be just. This is not tyranny. He's a murderer. I guess my character and the others don't know that. That's just knowledge that I have as the player. Damn it. Cleopatra was so good. Now with Cleopatra gone, we are actually the best ruler for leading our people. The best military leader. At 49, we're taking over. Alright. Whoa, three notes. Mayor Georgios, thank you. Mayor Thomas, thank you. And Earl Samakos, 215 to lose adulterer? Damn, man, he wanted that. Mayor Maria. 
lot of ransoms. There's just so much gold constantly coming in. Mayor Sabas, thank you. All right. Roads of Thirst and Logaduro expanded Docks and Glura to Tortoli. High Chief Ajita has won against Count Garonus in the Tyranny War against High Chief... Okay, so she held on in her Tyranny War. Good for her. We'll go look at these in a sec. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. Maybe it belongs in the dungeons. We get more vigilant either way. We're not going to learn anything by imprisoning him. Yeah, thank you for bringing this to my attention. Pause, for God's sake. There's so much happening. I love it. I'm just trying to keep up. Shipyards. We know about shipyards. A thousand gold for shipyards. Still working on it. Still working on it. A thousand gold for shipyards. And in Sasari, we're ready for the Hunter's Stables. 380. Let's keep it up. We got the funds. We got the ka you need to make it happen. Oh, out of money. Oh well. What they have is what they have. Enforce demands. The amicable high priest Mega of Olympus, peace be with you. Okay. We've combined Gurma and Gur for Leontia, as well as Borgu, so she's got plenty. Um There's plenty there. Uh Jenny? My vassal despotissa Huisena of Jen? Huh. She's not part of the family. But her primary heir is. I see. I see. Okay. Well, if my primary heir is... If the primary heir is part of the family, then we can give her this stuff. And she will eventually give it to our family. So that'll work out. Usurp the kingdom of Akan... And then Jenny will be getting it. Despotate of a con. There it is. You're welcome. I'm sure you love us. Good war, everybody. That might get sorted on its own. Are we ready for a doll yet, or are they still not going to let us do this? We're still in truce? Yeah, we are. How much longer is that truce? A doll, a doll. Two years. Alright, so it's not super close. We need to find something else to do in the meantime. Ooh, Galicia is a nice take of here. That all goes together. Leon doesn't. Navara doesn't. But this this does. And then Zinzir is also super awkward to take. This whole area is always so awkward. Oh well. The Duchy of Frisia up here is takeable. Is our military just ready? Is that like a quick take we can just go do real quick? It is. We can also take this. And Antwerpen? That's really small. Someone else will take that for us. The Peaceful of Frisia. Is this really the best we can do is three counties? No way, right? Highest stand, we could take way more over here. It's not perfect, but it's a lot. This is a mess. Rakid is a mess. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Hadayatid! Ooh, 93 counties! Something has been forming over here! The smelly is. Oh, Jesus Christ. Somehow, some way, it just lingers. Sodomite. Sexualized people of his own gender. Okay. He does go both ways. Damn, this kind of came out of nowhere. I guess I've just been missing it, possibly, but... This kind of seems like it came out of nowhere. How's Bulanid doing? How 163? They've been slowly expanding. They were like 156 last time we checked. A long time ago. 93. Look at Hedayatid over here. Going to work. Alright, highest hand. Apostolic. Yeah, that's a lot of land we can take. Let's do that one instead. That's a lot better than what Frisia offers. 
Let's start here on our own coast so that we can gather in time without causing issues. And then let's take the Kingdom of Hyastan. And we can take the Kingdom of Hyastan from them too. <laughs> yeah! Now we're talking. Now this ended up being really good. In 16 days? That's super easy. Wow, we gathered fast right here. What? Baron Raphael. Mayor Theodoros. Thank you. Two enemy holy orders got called in. Makes sense. De David got a prowess from pedagogy. Nice. He's coming into himself, isn't he? Absolutely. Another ransom accepted. Man, that music is loud, but I'm, I'm kind of digging it. Armory break-in. Well, speaking of... Curses. Those cursed children. My son David and his compatriot Nicoletta were caught red-handed having snuck into the armory. Don't they know that weapons are dangerous? Nicoletta had hurt herself, but fortunately David ran outside and grabbed the nearest adult, admitting everything they'd done. David looks genuinely distraught. I don't think he will be dishonest ever again. She kept playing. Nicoletta's expendable. Jesus. It was good that you admitted what you did. David is honest and zealous. Come taking after us. If he gets just as well, he's just gonna have the same traits as his mom. What a mama's boy. With your nephew, King Olafur? 4,900. Of Sweden? He's my nephew? <laughs> what? King Olafur of Sweden is my nephew? Dang, our family's out here. That's so good. My sister, Princess Kyra, is, is his mom. Wow, she's unlanded right now. What? There's 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 a lot of uh, interesting family stuff going on over there, isn't there? Anyway, <laughs> she. <laughs> Never mind. I'm I'm moving on. <laughs> moving on. Uh, if you saw, you saw. If you're pick, <laughs> if you see what, if you know what happened, you know what happened. Let's just leave it at that. Onwards we go. High Chief and Issa. Okay, those are little. Those are absolute nobodies. There's the Holy Order. Rezus is under siege. Good for it. Megara is gonna lead the way. Oh, they ran. They said nope. <laughs> they don't want the smoke. Baron Edmir, Mayor Matheos, and Mayor Gabriella. Thank you. Windmills in Roma. When in Roma, build granaries. 700 gold. Absolutely. Our castles are going to be so developed. It's going to be great. Amir Sharaf is one against your vassal prince Pyros for the kingdom of Syria? He was trying to take Syria and he lost? Yeah, that no, those numbers add up. Good try, though. It was an offensive war because it was defensive. He'd have to attack me, not, not him. He's our vassal, so for them to attack us, they have to attack us. Like, they have to attack High Priest Megara. But if it's offensive, our vassals can just do what they want, and sometimes they'll lose. It is what it is. Alright, Megara, lead the way. Plus one advantage. Not great with all those defensive advantages they have, but our soldiers are far superior, so it's all the same. Constantia the second maimed Bob Ken. Anak died. Oh, yeah, we rolled that high reckless roll. 16 to 2. Damn. 89 to 56.77. The slaughter at height. Thanks for coming for another slaughter here. Despot Thomas was captured of Italy? My vassal, Despot Thomas. You better be okay. I'm tired of losing family members right now. It's been happening too much. Holy Order's been called, okay, by Frisia. We got Arborea and um, Cagliari, I believe, ready for upgrades. Let's get that Granges and Tithe Barns. Tithe Barns act as a place for farmers to put the portion of their produce that should befall the clergy. Of course, this also makes it easier for us to tax them. Upgrade for a thousand gold. And Cagliari, upgrade for a thousand gold. Again. I don't think we're ever going to be able to spend all this money, but 
right now is why we saved all this money. You can see how expensive it was going to be. Not that I even know what we would have spent the money on at this point. 27 to 33.52. Rest in pieces. Look at the size of this military! Oh my god! Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa. Oh my god, the Hedaya Teed Grand Emirate was a... Emirate was a... Was an ally? What the hell? That's craziness. That's actual craziness. Increase your intrigue by one by graceful aging. That's what we're talking about. Stewardship architect. There it is. And with that... All construction costs go down 10% and all holding construction times go down 15% with plus two stewardship added on top. Let's go. All right, I don't think we need stewardship anymore. That's really what we wanted. Yeah. Uh, let's do some martial for chivalry and we're gonna go down to household guard. Just these four gallant traits because these are really, really good. And we can take Bellum Justum. So that we can cut our uh, piety cost to declare these wars in half. That would actually have been good a long time ago, but whatever. The Begrunty Romance. Not worth much. Okay. 21% for that county. Hopefully this one's also worth 21%. We'll see. Because if we can finish this siege right here, we can just focus on the other enemy. That has brought 30,000! Oh my god! 30,000! That's crazy! Ricardos comes of age. Alright, always the curious and knowledge-hungry child, Ricardos has shown an affinity for scholarship from an early age. His understanding of philosophical and theoretical works is impressive, and he often engages in debate with his former teachers. Even at such a young age, he can be heard quoting obscure passages to support new ideas and theories that grow up fast. Our mastermind philosopher's son, Ricardos, 16 years old, and he's already got 33 learning. Atta boy. So proud of him. That's what we're talking about. We only have masters in their fields so far. Four out of four for our kids were a master in their field. That's so good. David? Theophilus has his own, re has his own guardian that we didn't get to pick because we made him a, des a despot too early. All right. Yeah. Okay, so far so good on that. Betrothed can marry. Uh, Inbred, what? Why would you marry Damien? Why would you... What? Why? Why would this be the pair you've decided on? God, she's got great... Tr Traits, and maybe we can get rid of the inbreeding with our pet, with our, you know what I mean? It can be inherited, but we also have a legacy that makes it less likely to carry over negative traits. Yeah, chance of inheriting bad congenital traits down 30%. Shoot. There's great potential here, but there's also a cause for concern. And if I break the betrothal, isn't everyone going to hate me for it? Damn. All family members of my son lose 30 opinion of us. I guess we'll roll the dice. God, that's a... Okay. Alright. Ricardo, and my kinswoman, Damien, will be joined in holy matrimony. Good for you guys, I guess. Considering the fact she's <laughs> inbred, she's got good stats anyway. Damn. Interesting. Okay. Trapezus is under siege. Are the 30,000 coming back? Is someone trying to kill my courtier Basilic? I don't even know why she's a courtier, to be honest. Oh, I thought that was... Never mind. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, it wasn't enough. We need one more. Alright. 
Despotissa and Deberta has been swayed. Now she's at negative nine? The offensive war penalty is negative 89? You're kidding me. Yo, what? <laughs> I'm just going to try this. 69%. That's decent odds. Come on, come on. Yes! I've decided to fall into the light and convert to Hellenism. Blessed be Zeus. Alright, we don't need to swear anymore. <laughs> Damn. We got lucky there. There's a 35% chance that Basilic gets murdered. That's kind of surprising, to be honest. Hedayatid, what do you speak? You speak Iranian, I know that. How about Samadid? Also speaks Iranian. Oh, you speak Ogre. Kimik? Speaks Shah's Tur Turkic. Masid? Also speaks Arabic. Polania. We know all the we know all the languages, basically. Biarmaland? Finnick? Sure, let's learn Finnick. There's almost no languages left for us to learn that are like remotely near us. Mayor Athanasia of Agrafa. Baroness Thecla, okay. Thank you. Hunter Stables in Logaduro. Alright, we've got three uh, buildings done here. Tortoli, let's work on livestock pens. The livestock pens are sturdy enough to keep larger animals contained and secure. We didn't have those yet? What? That seems like something you would have already had, but okay. Sure. More granaries, thank you. And then Sasari, the Ranger's Huts. Thank you very much. And then we are, we're at 25,000 gold. Okay. Uh, I think the tyranny's gone away. We still have one, but basically. I'm gonna retract this from you. I know you hate it. But I'm gonna do it. Thank you for giving me Alexandria. Yeah, there's just so much potential here we need to do. Yep. Revoke it. 25. Three tyranny, and we hate it because we're just. Okay, revoke title. Sorry. She's gonna get negative 80 opinion too when we take this. We She is not 80 over 100, I bet you that. Malika Mod won against your other neighbor for the Kingdom of Leon? Zensir? Took even more land. Wow, Zensir's out here. Pieces under siege. Yeah, she went all the way down to 15. I see no choice but to battle your decision to strip me of the county of Alexandria just so. Sorry. Sorry. Alright, this is one of this is one of our locations now. Um We also want Cairo eventually, but we can figure that out when it's got enough development, I suppose. All holdings in this duchy get 15%. That's not really all that, but you know. This university right here will be good when we get enough development, but, uh... The development's 23, and we need, like, 40 to be able to make a university, right? I don't know, we'll see. Two court artifacts. Andalusian tapestry? Gotta give that up. And Olfunk's goblet. That'll be worth a good opinion, at least. Alright, family needs 22 renown. Where? That's not family? That's family, but it's a duke. He doesn't have his own. Here we go. He's not family. Apirus? Here we go. I hereby gift you our new banner. Uh, the Andalusian Tapestry. Where is it? Now it's going to be at the top because I started at the bottom. You watch. Always with this stuff. <laughs> it's always where you don't want it to be. Oh my god. There, take it. Okay. Get us more renown, please. Scheme at court. Someone's trying to kill Theodora, my food taster. What's not the villain behind this? Why are people trying to kill my people? What's going on here? Um, that's more allies coming in. It's about to be thirty-four thousand. Let's cut them off. Enforce demands. May your rumors rot in your living body, so be it. Thanks for all the land. Okay, so. 
She was already Hellenic, which is good. Antipetra, she's pretty, pretty good, but oh well. All right, let's grant this to one of our sons again. Start getting him over here. Uh, David or Xenia? Could also be a daughter. Or Pantheon, my son. Um, I guess Xenia's next up, isn't she? She's fickle, just, and honest. Fickle and just, that's quite the combination. <clears throat> Alright, let's usurp this kingdom first off. Thank you very much. And then grant to my daughter, Xenia. The despotate of Armenia. And now Despotus Xenia is ready to go. Beautiful. Beautiful. Despotus Xenia, thank you for the increased taxes. We appreciate you. Kyriak of Italy. What? Who? Her? To her? Yeah, I buy that. Go ahead. I'm picking up what that's laying down. Samanid also. 47 counties. Things are starting to come together in some places, huh? Starting to build up a little bit. Anyways, let's go hit these people while we can. Rhesus is under siege. We're not going to catch them. No, we're not. Damn. Would have been really nice. Uh, cheaters. Ten to six. Seven to seven. Uh, I'm curious to see how that plays out. Fornicator is no longer there, apparently. Oh, you bastard. Thirteen to eight. Nice, we got him. And then we can turn around and hunt down the big group. I just didn't want this group joining the other group. The other group is big enough, let's be honest. David the Generous of Bulgaria has wounded the enemy commander. Look at that huge message right there. The last time I saw Countess Eunuch, she was surreptitiously getting rid of my yellow hat because yellow is an unlucky color for people of my birth. The time before, I had to accompany her on a ridiculously long detour to avoid a sleeping black cat. It's unlucky, she said. I don't even remember the time she thought she had lost her lucky amulet. However, as I catch her throwing away half of my precious salt just because it had been spilled, I feel my patience wearing thin. Let me show you the error of your way of your ways. If she loses superstitious, you get a weak ho hook. Ooh, 250 piety. I'm gonna show her the error of her way. Yeah. 250 piety. Yeah, blasphemous beliefs. There you go. <clears throat> Thanks for the piety. We always need that. All right, 48 to 41, 53. Very nice. All right, 30,000 versus 3,000. Outnumbered 10 to 1. Do you think we can pull it off? I want to see if we can. Despot Ricardos of England does not have a, a spouse. Looks like uh, the other chick didn't work out after all. I didn't have to do a thing. Marquia Argiad Constantine. She's Amazonian and quick. A little sadistic, and ze but zealous and just. Zealous we consider a good thing. Sadistic, not so much, but you know. Kyriak Argiad Phokea is only comely is the problem. Cornelia Argiad Phokea is comely and intelligent. And Cornelia is first in line. Oh, no, we can't do that then. Marquia is also first in line for her titles. That's not good. We need someone who's not going to inherit anything. Kyra Katatikos? Completely outside the family. And she's second to the to the grand city of Messina. Okay. I like Kyra. Or Kira. Let's go with that. Kira. I accept. Despot Ricardos will lose 200 prestige, but she'll gain 1300, and... Genius, Amazonian, and Handsome are all in here. Good luck, England. 
Good luck. Alright, excellent. Let's go ahead and, uh, stalwart leader, yeah. Foot, hostile looter, trade experience? What? Reduce the risk of commanding armies. That's huge. Yep. We gotta take that first before anything else. And four prowess doesn't hurt either. 48 prowess on Megara? Nice. Alright, and they're undersupplied, which is gonna give us more advantage. Because we've been letting them just do nothing over here. Baron Zenon, thank you. Xenon. Rezus is under siege. Baron Stephanos and Mayor Romilia. Normally I would just start sieging, but I feel like if I started sieging right now, we would have we would give them a defensive advantage, and I'd rather not do that. Granaries are constructed in Roma. And with all these um indulgences we just got taken in, we're about to spend it on. Ranges and Tide Barns for a thousand gold. There you go. Trapezus is not under siege because they keep leaving it. Alright. Okay, we have 43 advantage when leading. We are literally the best qualified for the job, and we even get plus 8 from our axe. Plus 8 faith hostility advantage from our axe. So we actually have 51 martial advantage with Meg with Megara. Okay, more soldiers and men more more men at arms counter. Army supplies running low, defensive buildings, better army commander, higher quality, all that good stuff. Mayor Margarita. <laughs> Mayor Margarita. I love that name. Alright, let's go here then, and they'll come to us. And we can defend in the barony of Tortomi. Which gives four, eight. Which gives eight defender advantage. We'll take it. All right, it's committed now. There's no going back. Here we go. 30,000 versus 3,200. 23,000 coming immediately, and then the other 6,000 on its way in a sec. 23,700, and then 6,000. 6, Here we go. Plus 82 advantage. Hell yeah. They're starving when they came over? Oh, you messed up. Yeah, our 3,000 are going to be plenty for this battle. Our cataphracts are fighting in bad terrain, so a little less damage. That is unfortunate. Thank you, Mayor Marcos of Sorma. But they're in trouble. Plus 82 advantage. They have Oswaran. They have a 20, a 27 in there. Most of them are pretty weak, but this 27 Sheik Modam is pretty good, and Amir Saradin at 20 is pretty good. Our Hatarie have. 300% effectiveness, so triple knight effectiveness. Dionysia has 147. Our lowest prowess in this army is Dukes Muhammad III at 75 prowess. So yeah, we're gonna be... Yeah, we're looking so good. Wipe them out. Oh, they're in so much trouble. I love it. The Georgian Orthodox populace have given up. Pile in. Say goodbye to your military. They aren't going to all disappear, though, because the reinforcements came in at good enough timing. That just means we'll get another battle. No problems. David more likely to get good tutelage. D David got intrigue from pedagogy. Good. We'll take it, I guess. Combatants captured. 291 losses. So we did take a lot of losses this time against 10,107. It was considered a battle at Tau. This looks more like a slaughter to me, but alright. 281 kills on Despotis of Dionysia. 254 from Despotissia of Anthea. Despot Leon of Hellas, 252. Despotis of Aristotle of Eurublin, 252. Alexander of Thessalonica, 238. Hippolytus of Hungary, 223. Evangelos, 218. Constantia, 212. Petros, 207. Marcos, 183. Ogmunder 183, Sebastianos 183, Jordanes of Germany 183, Maria 183, David of Bulgaria 183, and Muhammad even had 143 to his name. Their best knight had six. Damn, y'all got slaughtered. Absolutely demolished. 237 of our losses were cataphracts, which makes sense because that's primarily what our military is made of. Wow, absolutely lit them up. Well, they're going to be running away, so let's go take their capital while they're running away. Alexandria's got boyers. 
Good. Let's make our duchy building. What? Yes, I do. You mean this one? Oh, are you serious? <laughs> okay, can't make the duchy building. Fair enough. Shipwrights. We're still going to make this place amazing, and we'll figure out the duchy building part later. But right now, we already have so much tyranny, I need to just chill. 22 tyrant is not good. That's a lot of tyrant. They have war target penalties coming in? Yeah, that's alright. Not after we capture this. Witchcraft induction? Good. Ransom accepted? Good. Holy order hired? The repulsive? Ugh. Christina Goot has joined the Varangian Guard. Okay. Captain Awali? Mary Eustathios? As long as they don't get to us in a month, we're good. Mary Isakios. Mary Eustathios again. They're still running away. Wow. Mary Marikios. They said, what a nightmare. <laughs> Going up against the Empire of Olympus? You had to see this coming. Look at this. 1114 realm size you're up against. Just our professional army alone is enough to take on your whole country. They were probably on a bit of a power trip. They went from barely existing to being 99 counties. They're probably vassalizing a lot right now. They're expanding really fast. Uh, we got the air hostage. Nice. The capital and the air right there cleans that up real quick. Teruberin? Mesopotamia? Is, this, is that where this is? I've always heard the name Mesopotamia, but never knew where it was on the map. Isn't that good to know? Okay, we need a new lady in waiting and a master of the horse. The Ignosia is really young. She can develop into a good lady of waiting. Master of the horse. Uh, Evangelos the good of France. He's busy ruling, so he'd only have so much. He's as good as Margarita, but he's busy ruling, whereas Margarita's just as good and isn't. So I guess we'll let Margarita do it. Thank you. Duchess Majida created the Cadet Branch Majid, which is a branch of a branch. House Majid, nobility. Malika Ye is lost against your vassal Despotus and Leontia for the Duchy of Mamprusi. Good. We took more of Africa back. Oh, now Borgu fits within Borgu. Nice. Next time we go down there, we can just take the rest of that. Good to know. We almost learned our, this language already. Crushing that. Thank you, Mayor Anthemios. Alright, Cagliari. We need our expanded docks and Tortoli. Sorry. Oristano, you need your expanded docks. Tortoli's about to be done. Hold up. It's right there. There it is. Tortoli can get its, a its apiaries. Between the forest and the fields, bees housed and apiaries produce much sought after honey. Give us the good stuff. Are these anywhere near? Oh, look, Sasari is ready. What? Expanded docks, yeah. Failed at 95% again. How does this keep happening? Sure, I'll end that. To, I'll end learning that right now. How are we? How do we keep failing that? I don't understand. The Cushitic language. Sure, let's learn it. Here comes the military again. Aw, oh, yeah. And we're going to have this sieged by then, so we're going to get the defensive bonuses, not them. Absolutely. Come on. There it is. Now we have the defensive advantage. <laughs> defending a river crossing, defending in hills, defensive buildings, better army, command, better army commander, higher quality, army is starving. They're doomed. They are absolutely doomed. See ya. 87 martial advantage. Y'all are not thinking this through. I'm trying to come in with just numbers, thinking that's going to be enough. I promise you that's not going to be enough. This time the whole thing's getting wiped. The whole military is going to stop existing after this fight. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. There it is. 
Your forces captured Amir Gobad have been teed. The battle one score got us there. 216 to 20,562. The slaughter at Tarubran. I think we've never killed 20,562 in a single battle before. That's a new record for us. That is actually a slaughter at Tarubran. That is so many lives thrown away. I can't believe how many lives are getting tossed out in this conquest of the world. We're gonna be... There will be, literally be millions of deaths. At least a million deaths by the time we're done. Because people just come at us and die. Unbelievable. Force demands. To the vile high priest Megara, you child of a mangy dog. You're a much greater foe than I imagined. So be it. Boss Fornicator. Uh, Armenia, this is also part of... Uh, Armenia. So, you know, go ahead and take all this. Enjoy that. Alright. Expand all. Now we can hold court too? Damn, we are cooking right now. I'm telling you, we're doing insanely well. Here, petitioners. Sitting on my throne. Yeah, we've rebranded this. Just for the first line to approach. My lady, I represent the relig religious community of St. Dennis. While rummaging through our modest archive, we have come across a very peculiar book. The cover was dusty, the binding fragile, and the pages were yellowed by time, but it contained the most unusual drawings, and the script itself was unknown to us all. We are certain it is unique in the world. A long lost vault of knowledge, a true treasure. Why is this Catholic priest guy coming to me here? Uh, that's why we offer it to you. Perhaps it's the original copy of the Will of God, or it's a memoir from the world's creation. It must be a work of Bacchus. Burn it! Call for my antiquarian? Thanks, I'll add to my collection. Antiquarian is useless. <laughs> uh, must be the work of Bacchus Burnett. Because it's coming from a Catholic priest. Damn! Just saying, in real life, never burn a book. That's a terrible idea, but this time, we're gonna do it. My hunt master, Despot Yordanes, approaches carefully. Cradling a woolen bundle. With a grin, he pulls back the swaddling, revealing a pair of squinting eyes above a lolling tongue. A puppy! He can hardly keep the excitable fur on his arms. A gift from the finest limer litter I have seen in some time, he says between face licks. You must take advantage to expand your kennels, my lady. Our kennels will have no competition. House Diarchia gains dog lovers for 30 years? This house's affection for canine companions is proverbial health small boost? All members will be able to take the adopt puppy decision. What? This is incredible. <laughs> this is one of the best things we've ever gotten. Cats are superior companions. Um, I mean, you're delaying serious petitioners, your dance. Who's a good pup? You are. Our kennels will have no competition. This is so good. This is so good. 750 gold. I love cats and dogs. If it's a good dog or a good cat, I'm all about it. You could have you could have switched this this with pet cats with cat lovers. I'd have been all aboard that too. But this helps with hunts too. So our kennels will have no competition. Dog lovers for thirty years. Bang! That's so good. That's so good. Dog lovers health bonus. A new arrival to my court today is one Kira, an envoy for my aunt, King Olafur of Sweden. No, I'm the aunt. He's my nephew. From my nephew, King Olafur of Sweden. High Priest Megara, it has come to the attention of my liege that you are harboring an individual particular interest. Christina has a legitimate claim to the county of Pertisor. King Olafur requests and demands the return of this errant subject of his. I send Kira out of the room whilst my council deliberates. What should we do? Give her up? <clears throat> Refuse to allow Kira to Christina? To take Christina? Uh, disguise Margarita as Christina and send her instead? No. Be, no. Who is Christina Goot? I don't either. Sure, go ahead. My business here is done. That, that guy kind of looks like Kairos. I miss Kairos. Uh, my son. My son. That's tough, man. Damn, they grew fast. Like, they grew really fast. We can start taking the kingdom of, Ara of Arabia. Arabia is a huge kingdom. It's got tons of counties we could take. Absolutely tons. We can take Masid next. Yes. 
See, this this is making sense. Oh, but we need um We need Ant the Duchy of Antioch to be able to make the Roman Empire. It's literally all we're missing. It's literally all we're missing. And then we can consolidate all of our empire titles into one title. How sick would that be? Oh, the Empire of Ajaron. We have to make another title. <clears throat> okay. Now we now we won't. Now we won't lose it. Right? Hit play. Let succession update. Oh, wait, it still doesn't have votes. Duh. Feudal elective. Add law. The dog. The amicable high priest of Megara. You and I should be friends, not foes. Please accept this exchange this in exchange on a treaty of mutual goodwill. 15 year truce with Zenzir. Zenzir, you have some kind of ugly nation that's going to be complicated to take anyway. I'll take your 550 gold for a 15 year truce, absolutely. As I pet the dog on the head, he happily wags his tail. What name would suit him? Something historical? Something alluding to his gray fur? It's an important decision, and as the dog rolls over to let me pet his stomach, I find myself distracted for a while. But wait, I know. I'll name him... Hmm... He's got gray fur, huh? Huh... How about gray with an E? At least a little something. Um... You know what? My best friend's... <laughs> My best friend has a dog named Oscar, and that is, like, the best dog ever. I'm gonna name it Oscar because of, uh, real-life reasons. What a great name, Oscar. Alright. Elect Laurentios for the tight empire of Aj Ajaron. She's gonna try to take Alexand- or he's gonna try to take Alexandria from me. Don't worry, David, you will get a kingdom of your own soon. Probably Arabia, if I'm being honest. Um, how close am I to getting Bellum Justum? Not very close. So yeah, we probably won't do that. Um, still ugly over there. Whereas the Masid Emirate is 12 counties. This is 6. This is 2. We can just take Lebanon real quick, I guess. I need Antioch. That needs to happen. Conquer the Dutch, the Emirate of Antioch. Yep. Yeah. And then I guess we could take some of this as well. God, it's really ugly to try to take, though, isn't it? The Mustarid Emirate. Look how gross this, like, split is. Damn it. <laughs> Why is it so split like that? Let's just take a county in the middle then. Forget it. Take that county. We're taking the Duchy of Antioch because that's what we're really here for. The Emirate of Antioch, sure. All right. They'll race quickly. They've been racing very quickly lately, actually. I'm really about that. Let's go here. 11 days. That's so fast. Why are we raising so quickly? I love it. Enemy Holy Order called? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, this is a lot. Greetings, Ant. I confess to being most grateful to you, High Priest Megara, for returning Christina to her proper place in my realm. You've proven yourself a most honorable and true friend to Kingdom of Sweden, and I'd be delighted to continue corresponding with you in the future. Only a fuel would not, fool would not appreciate the benefits of my holding you in high regard, and you are clearly not a fool. May be blessed with long life and bountiful harvest. Strong diplomacy wins out over petty politicking. Closer to getting a friendship with our nephew, King Alafer. Wow, he seems intelligent and kind of all about this guy. Hell yeah. Who's your heir? You need to have a kid, man. This should be your child. But Oh, it's a, it's a vote. Got it. Damn, I like your family. It's a shame you're going to lose control over stuff. They're over here fighting their own battles and stuff, and we're just going to go ahead and take their stuff. We're trying to take this county, but we'll hit the capital first. And then we'll take Antioch, and then we'll be ready for the big play. 
We don't have enough time to finish these wars. Damn it! I have like four minutes before I gotta go. <laughs> this was supposed to be a longer episode, and then that whole cr crashing happened. Do not yet know who someone's planning to kill my cr prisoner, Naive. At least it happened um, when we didn't lose much. Like, if it crashed right now and I lost the recording right now... Oh my god. That'd be a nightmare scenario. Actual nightmare scenario. We have a better siege expert, though, don't we? Yeah, Avanthia is a better siege expert. Mirai Katarine. Countess Dionysia that is plotting against my courtier Theodora. Why? The Vile Fiend. Beirut under siege. Let's just go back to us. There, Theophilus. Alexandria's got its ship rights already? Damn, Alexandria builds fast, huh? Wooden watchtowers. Interesting. Small mud brick keeps. Look at that defender advantage. Station heavy infantry. Woo! Good, good. There we go. Got the hot. Got the air. We got the capital. We got all that. One more siege. This is a wrap. That went really well. Also, I just want to say, we are doing a really good job of spending all that gold we saved up. Even with all these indulgences coming through. Kind of shockingly so. Accept and accept. You won't accept. Oh, then don't worry about it. Oh my god, that's so many ransoms. I'll wait until the uh, air is given away. Dukes and Tomwa to Despis. Oh, okay, hold up. <clears throat> Who? To her? Sure. Humania is building up too, but it's just 20. Not too much. Just looks bigger than it is. Yeah, this, this war is going to be fast. <coughs> they took one of our counties at 3%. What? Captain McQuarren. Alright. We got more constructions coming through. Roma has granges and tithe barns. So now we can go for livestock pens. Good. And Galura can go for granges and side barns as well. Thank you, Mara and, Nat and Natalios. An 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 Analodios? Analodios is probably it. <laughs> we're getting there. I'm shocked at how well we're spending this money, to be honest. We've lost over 10,000 gold since we started this episode. Alright, there's that war. Wrapped. Let's come out to you and your house. Yeah, I bet you feel that way, don't you? I'll hold on to the land, I guess, if I can. Alright, let's go take the Emirate of... Uh, God, I'm out of time. <laughs> I'm out of time. Alright. So definitely our main goal next episode is going to be forming the Roman Empire. And consolidating all these Empire titles into one title. No, Kentios died. Oh, man. Magreb speaks Greek now. That's good. Look at this. Yeah, all of our empire titles are destroyed, and we get the Roman Empire. We'll be restored to acquire the Zerk of all. You gain the trait Augustus, you get the Roman Empire title. Come on! Right? Isn't that insane? All of that traded for the Roman Empire? We only have to win one vote? <laughs> That's insane. Get an inspiration. That's our guy. Armor? Yes! Oh, hell yes! Four to five gold for the best armor ever? Yes, please. Yes, please. I'm going to convert you too so that you have even better uh, martial and prowess. Yes. Oh, he's going to make the best armor, man. The best. This is going to be so good. All right. Let's see our battle here. Plus 23 advantage going in. A curse undone. Got her. Judita is dead. 
Flagellated herself to death. Now one day too soon. Stupid. You stupid. Mayor Marquia, thank you. Mayor Gosseline, thank you. Wipe him out. 98 to 7800. The slaughter at Iskandarun. These people are about to know exactly who they're messing with. Like, full on Amirs are in our prisons right now. Getting that ransom money. Information brokering. Countess. I know I, I shouldn't be playing right now. Countess Rose has approached me claiming she's discovered the continued legitimacy of my lineage is at risk unless I take action. She's offered to provide me with everything she knows, including names and evidence in exchange for a lump sum of gold. For a lump sum of gold? Yes, 300 gold. That's what. Gold is what we have. My acquaintance Jaroslav was actually slired by King Clement. Oh, pfft. I've been, yeah, whatever. Sure. I don't. I that actually does not matter to me. But thanks anyway, I guess. Thanks for all the ransom money, Mayor Zenobia. Thank you. <laughs> three to three. King Obasu won against the other neighbor Amir Zuber for the Kingdom of Leon. Okay, Navara did some stuff there. 49 to 44.25, the slaughter at Eskandrun, the second one, that is. People out here dying all the time. So many criminals, by the way. Uh, I, I really gotta stop. I really gotta stop. I really gotta stop. Request for funds. My beneficiary, Masood, insists that to make armor suitable for a basilisk in my glory, he'll need more funds. Lemur armor is not cheap to make. The material alone It's not time to be frugal, my lady. We shall have the money. 50 gold for higher quality is absolutely the go, and I gotta go. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like. If you really enjoyed it, consider subscribing. Either way, thank you so much for joining High Priest Megara and the rest of the DRG Ad Dynasty with me on this journey in Crusader Kings 3. Next time, I believe, the Roman Empire. I am so pumped. I'll see all of you next time.